Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have my daughter Kalila here and we got Mazi in the background. But uh, I pretty much just woke up a little bit ago. Um, obviously I wake up in the morning to make my honey like breakfast and stuff. Um, so I did that and Kalila stayed awake for a little while as well as she usually does. And then she fell back to sleep, and then so did I. <laughs> so I slept for like, I'd say 30 minutes. Um, I got up, and now we're going to go ahead and make some breakfast for Kalila. And today I pretty much, um, I had already like cleaned up the house yesterday. So today, what I'm going to be focusing on is like my closet. Um, I did go ahead and like create a workspace for me um, in our bedroom. So it's pretty much just like a little area where I can like write down my ideas. Um, I have my laptop um, and, you know, I can work from there and, you know, just have like a designated space for me. Um, so yesterday I went ahead and moved in this like, um, it's not a desk, but it's, a, it's like a table that we had in our kitchen. Um, I'm going to be using that as like a desk. So I already did do that. Um, we do have a lot of things. Actually, had been having in our room for quite some time. We are going to be getting a storage soon. So what I'm going to be doing is going through all the clothes that don't fit me anymore. I'm just going to be getting rid of them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be donating them uh, to like family or you know, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with them quite yet. It is a lot of good clothes. Majority of the clothes all have like tags on them. Um, it's clothes that I've had for a really long time that I've pretty much just carried with me through the years. Um, you know, like interview clothes, um, summer dresses, and like just different things that I have have collected over the years. Jeans. Um, I, I don't personally wear jeans. I'm like more of like a legging girl or shorts, but I never ever wear jeans. Um, but I have so many of them. So I'm going to go through the jeans and just pretty much get rid of things you know the, I that's not my style anymore and if I want to fucking wear a summer dress then I will go buy a summer dress like your girl's not going to inter interviews anytime soon so um yeah I'm like so over it and it's just taking up space so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm most likely gonna be cooking a meal as well the meal that I have in mind is gonna be a meal that's under $10 that anybody can make and if you don't like the meat that I'm using which is going to be pork you can always substitute it for like chicken but I'll get to that a little later uh, just <laughs> she's getting fussy I just wanted to say that um, I hope that you guys have a positive blessed day and stay tuned for the rest of the vlog mamacita so I'm actually just going to make her some eggs really quick but I'm going to give her these to snack on because she be impatient she don't like waiting, especially when she's hungry. And I have to get Mazi some food too. Mazi, you don't have no food. So I'm in the closet now, and I'm just going to go ahead and start going through the clothes that I don't want and start putting them in a um, trash bag. I went ahead and put Kalila down for a nap, so she's actually in um, the next room, like, well, in the room right here. So I'm being a little quiet. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to go through each item and... If I want it, I'm going to keep it hanging up. If I don't, I'm going to um, take it off. Okay, so the first one is this sweater, which is still something that I would use. So I'm going to keep this. Um, this is like a little cover-up. And I actually would still wear this as well. Um, 
this shirt this this shirt's fairly fairly new so I'm still gonna keep that. Um this one's a big shirt so Um, next is this dress, and I think I'm going to keep that. Um, these for sure I'm not keeping, so they're just long dresses, and I've never worn them. Um, there's three different ones, and I'm going to show you guys them right now, but they're really long. I'm never going to wear them. If I haven't worn them in two years, then that means I'm not going to wear them, right? <laughs> so that's going this one um, as well. This is a very nice one as also. I love this one, actually. I love the colors, the pattern. It's just a, a dress that you wear like this, and it's really long. So this one's going as well. And I got these at um, Kohl's. Kohl's a long time ago. Um, if you guys, because I, I know I mentioned earlier that I, I didn't know what I was going to see, look the tag, Kohl's. Um, I know I mentioned earlier that I didn't know what I was going to be doing with the clothes, um, whether it was donating it um, to like my family or, you know, anybody that like wanted it, uh, just give it to them. But if you guys are interested in like, wanting to like purchase any of these um i can create a poshmark uh it's like an app where you're able to purchase clothes like out of my closet so if that's something that you guys would be interested in i can definitely create a poshmark and save some of these pieces um you know that way you guys can purchase them from there but yeah this is going i've showed it like three times <laughs> all right next so because it's like I'm limited in space in my closet, um, it's a whole ordeal as to why I'm limited to space even though like this is the master bedroom. Um, I have like three things stacked on one hanger. So you know that's a problem, right? So this is why we're doing this today. So let's see what's on the top one. Okay, so it's another one of those black cover-ups, which you can always use these so I'm not going to actually get rid of this but I will go ahead and put it on its individual hanger and hang it up with that other one. This one as well is a cover-up. I, I wore these, I used to work in like an office and I used to dress up every day and I used to love having these little cover-ups so I'm going to keep this one as well. Okay, next is this blazer. That's actually, let's see, does it fit? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is a little blazer. Let's see, it's a little dirty right there. Oh, it's a little dusty. Okay, so this, hmm. I don't know. It looks really professional, so I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Like I said, I don't plan on going to like any interviews or anything anytime soon. Um, so yeah. There's, I don't know. It's really nice, but you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and and don't uh, put it in the to go bag because I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it to be honest. Alright, next is um another little black cover up. This one actually has little holes in it, so I know this is gonna go for sure. I'm not gonna even keep it or try to put it on the uh posh mark or anything like that. Alright, let's see what else we have here. So I have this dress that actually um like a long dress. I actually wore this when I was like pregnant and stuff and I think I actually would still wear this dress. So I'm gonna keep this one. Keep this dress. Okay. And you know what? Because I'm gonna keep this one, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice and um and I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. 
because I believe I have two that's, I mean, I have another one that's similar to this that I like more that I'd rather keep than this one. So this one's going to go, and majority, so this is a size small, but majority of my clothes are like large. Um, they do range, I guess, from small, small to large. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have left off in here. Let's see what we have here. So it looks like I have some like little black um, pants that are like have a little tie, and I've had these for a very long time. Um, but I will actually go ahead and keep these because they're really like thin and like you know they're really dressy. So I want to have you know, one pair of dressy pants. So I'll hang those back up there. This, let's see what this is this is actually a long skirt, um, so it's a long black skirt. I'm gonna put the light over here so you guys can see. I just hate it because my glasses blur, but so you guys can see. Ooh, and it kind of blinded me too. Um, but just a long black skirt. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. This is a size. I think it's like a one size maybe, but it's pretty stretchy though. Okay, so that's going. So I want to keep that. Let's get my light over here. Okay, where my glasses don't blur, it's kind of hard to do that. Great. Okay, next. So we kept the little pants. Next is this little kimono. So this is a. One of my little, it's actually one of my favorite little kimonos. Um, so that's how it looks. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Um, because this one's cute. So this one's a keeper. Keeper. Next, we have another little black cover up. And this one's a little more shorter. Let me put it down here. Oh, this one's, this one's comfy. So it's just like a little black cover up. And I actually like this one. So I'm keep this. Oh, I don't even remember where I purchased this at. It's been quite some time that I've had it then. Okay, let's see. So next I have two shirts. One that is like a little dressy shirt. And this is the front, so it's very flowy. Um, so it's, all right guys, I just want to adjust everything and put my hair up. But um, I'm actually going to get rid of this one as well. Don't worry. It's like a little crop top. Okay, last, I have a bunch of shirts. So let's take them off one by one. So this one is like a little flowy shirt and it still actually has a tag on it. And I'm actually not gonna keep this. Um, this little floral shirt it has a little tie. I'm not gonna keep it. This one, I'm keep. This one, I'm gonna keep. This one, I'm gonna keep. This one, I'm gonna keep. This one, I'm getting away. Like, I'm getting rid of it. So, that's the end of my clothes. I think there's still like some mixed in here, but like not too much. Uh, which is like our sweaters, which I'm probably going to end up keeping. So we ended up filling up like one and a half bags of clothes. Oh my goodness. I'm going to feel so much better. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to get out of here now and go start cooking. So stay tuned for that meal under $10. Come on, over here. Over here, come on. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I actually made it in the kitchen. And I'm about to start cooking right now. I'm going to show you the ingredients that we're going to be using today. Okay, so what you're going to need for the ingredients is pork, uh, pork chops. Uh, I use boneless pork chops. Um, you can use whatever pork chops you want, but as you can see, these were only $3. You can use chicken, um, chicken legs. Those are pretty cheap. The point is to, you know, keep it under $10, so, uh, you got that for, I'd say even under $5. I got some potatoes, because I'm going to be making mashed potatoes, 
So I'm going to peel these, cut them, and put them to boil. You're going to need some vegetable oil or any type of oil that you like to cook with. Um, and your choice of vegetables. I've pretty much had this broccoli for some time now, so I want to make sure I just go ahead and cook that and the rest of these carrots. We're going to go ahead and steam these. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you want to start with is your potatoes. I went ahead and got a bag. I'm going to go ahead and peel these potatoes. Um, Okay, so once you went ahead and cut them up and put them in here, we're going to add some water and put them to boil. So you're going to go ahead and put them to boil until there's about, until you can poke them through with a fork. So I'd say about um, 20 minutes or so. We'll check on them. Okay, so I went ahead and add those to the, to the burner. Now we're going to go ahead and um, do our pork chops. So I'll just open them right up. And I changed my cutting board because I don't want to use the same cutting board as I do when cutting vegetables. Okay. Just gonna take them out. Alright, All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and Season it with garlic powder. This is not garlic salt. It's garlic powder, um, black pepper, and maris. So just go ahead and season. Black pepper. You guys are probably here, Kalila. I blocked her because she, I kept tripping over her. She um was right here in the kitchen on her little Elmo thing, and anytime I would like take a step back, back she'd be right there. So I like blocked her off, and she's mad at me right now. Okay, so go ahead and turn those over. Okay, turn it over, and ah. We're going to go ahead and get our oil hot before we season the other side, so... Okay, I went ahead and rinsed my pan and turned it on high heat. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the oil. Not too much. Uh, if your pork chops are thicker, you know how much, like, you know, add in a little bit more oil. Alright, so my pan pretty much heated up, so I'm going to go ahead and just start adding these in. I think a little bit of the water from me rinsing the pan um, mixed with the oil. So it's like bubbling. But yeah, just go ahead and add them in. Add them in. Oh. Okay, and we're just gonna let them cook. So when we come back, um, the fat's probably gonna be separated and just let them cook for about, I'd say, Ten minutes. So I'm going to rinse my veggies. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is start putting them in the pan so we can steam them. Um, so what I usually do is I just let them boil with water. And uh, once it boil, once they're like really soft, I'll go ahead and add in. Um, I'll drain the water and add in butter. So I'll show you once we get there. But just wanted to. Kind of give you an idea of how I'm gonna do it. You can always do it a different way um, if you you know choose want to steam your veggies a different way. But I'm just gonna go. I already rinsed the carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in here uh, in this pan that I'm gonna be using, and then I'm just gonna add in the, the broccoli as well. So, kind of just separate them. 
and uh, I'm kind of making a lot of veggies because the baby eats it, eats veggies as well. So. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put fill this up with water, and I'm gonna put this on the stove. I'm gonna get it to a boil, uh, and once it comes to a boil, we'll put the uh, lid on and let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes boil. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check on our pork chops. As I mentioned, the fat would be separated um, by the time we turn back. So we're just gonna go ahead and flip them over, flip them over, and let them cook. We left them on high. You can go ahead and turn them down to like a. I'd say like a seven or eight and just let them cook. We got our broccoli and uh, carrots about to come to a boil. We still got our potatoes boiling. Um, I just gonna check them with the knife to see if they're soft. Yeah, they're still hard, so we're gonna let those cook. Uh, the potatoes, just go ahead and keep them to a boil. It doesn't even really matter if they get mushy because obviously it's mashed potatoes unless you like your potatoes a little um, you know, harder, but yeah, here we are so far, I'm just, just going to keep letting it cook, just let the pork chops cook, and we'll check back in in a couple minutes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and strain my potatoes. Some butter while it's hot, so I just go ahead and add in some butter. Like not a specific amount or anything. And then I get your uh, potato mash or bean mash, you know potato mash. You know. And you just go ahead and mash them up with the butter. Okay, so that's what they're looking like. I'm just going to add in a little bit of milk. Like that much. Yeah, mama's cooking and you want my attention, huh? Okay, so adding the milk just makes it fluffy. Wait, you need to start talking about me tripping. This is nothing. She just wants to get out of the abaga. Okay. Oh, and if you're like lactose and you can't have milk in your mashed potatoes, then you can just add butter. Uh, I don't know if that's like the same thing. And then I just added like pepper and salt and they're done. Let's go check on our pork chops. Take them out in just a few. And of course you still have uh, carrots and broccoli boiling. Alright you guys, I went ahead and uh, plated everything, I went ahead and drained the vegetables and added in some butter, took off the pork chops and put it on a napkin to drain the grease. We got Mama's right here, she's crying. Alright you guys, that's a wrap for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.